Hello everyone, it is the Friendly Neighborhood Gaming Weasel back at it again with a Warframe farming guide for the resources inside of the Zeramon. Now the Zero Angels of Zeramon update has been out for a decent time now and I think now, right now, after figuring some stuff out, uh, we're going to be talking about farming the resources. So, what resources do I mean? Introdi Lanthorm, Void of Gel Orbs, Thrax Plasm, and also maybe a little bit of Void Plumes. If you want a dedicated video to Void Plume farming, the little eye up there will lead you to my video on my YouTube channel on how to farm up every single Void Plume that you possibly need. Before we actually start the video, a like, a comment, and subscribe is completely free and appreciated by me. Uh, I would love to see more of you joining this uh, community that we are slowly growing. I upload videos on a weekly basis, at least some of videos, at least I do try. And uh, yeah, it would be great to have you here. So, now getting into the video. First things first, what game mode do I recommend? I mostly recommend you play Void Cascade. Are you gonna play the Tavol Commons, uh, which is the endless game mode, or are you gonna play Bounties? It is completely up to you. Uh, because in this game mode, a lot of Void Thraxes spawn, or Grenier Thraxes uh, spawn. These are the ones that will reward you with the most resources. Uh, now, Entrati, uh, Entrati Lanthorms are rare resources, so they're basically like Orkin Cells, Nair Rods, uh, and, and stuff like that. So, they're gonna be a little bit more difficult to get. A resource chance booster and a resource uh, double booster uh, would be greatly appreciated. A Smita Kavat would be very, very good as well because she can double your resource pickup. Now, to increase the chance of charm buffing your resources, I would recommend you only bring a melee weapon, no primary, no secondary. And the Warframe of my choice is going to be a Zaku, uh, just a normal Zaku build, and uh, nothing really special. If you want a Zaku build, I also have that on my YouTube channel, and I also have it on my previous Void Plume video, so if you want that, you can find it out uh, that way. Uh, what is the difference between playing the actual Enders game mode and playing the Bounties? Well, in Bounties, you get some extra rewards and Void Quills, as well, Void Plume Quills as well, so... You know, it's really dependent on what you want to do. You also get Void Plume Quills uh, inside of the actual Endless Game Mode, but you have to find those keys and, uh, and put them inside of the Cephalon Terminal. So, resources. Which ones do you get where? Basically, every one of the resources is dropped by enemies. Necros would be very, very good here, because he can, of course, desecrate the enemy's bodies. Uh, and, uh, of course, give you more drops. Korra would be good... But uh, in Void Cascade, most of the time, you're going to be stationary for a couple of seconds and then move along to the next one. Uh, you could use her. I'm not saying she's bad. She's pretty good. But you're not always camping in one singular spot. You're sort of moving around and uh, you, you kind of need a little bit more survivability, especially if you're going to play the Endless Game Mode. So, Necros would be very, very good here. Zonko would be good. You don't have the uh, additional resources uh, from, of course, Desecrate, but uh, at least you can use only a melee weapon here because you have your second ability to gather up the guns from enemies and then let those guns shoot the enemies. So, and his survivability is a little bit better than Necros. Of course, Necros Shield of Shadows build could be pretty useful, but... Uh, in my opinion, Zaku is better. I'd rather sacrifice that tiny little bit of resource gain uh, for that extra DPS, uh, survivability, and, and of course, uh, maybe loot breakage as well. The loot breaker, or I guess a, um, a box breaker Zaku could be useful, but not in the endless one, only in the bounty one. So, basically, that is it. What you're going to do is pick a Zaku or a Necros, do Void Cascades, kill as many Thraxes as you possibly can. Uh, void Armageddon and Void Flood are good, uh, but uh, at least in my experience, vo uh, in the Thraxes spawn much frequently in, in Cascades, so that is my opinion. And kill those uh, Thraxes, get all the resources, and basically you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, a couple of things as well, you could try Exterminate and Void uh, in Mobile Defense as well if you want, but in my opinion, Void Cascade is the best one. So. That is it, how to form up the resources inside of the Angels of Zermon the best possible way. Hope you guys enjoyed, if you guys did leave a like, a comment and do subscribe for more content uh, on this uh, nice channel that I have here. 
and I will see you guys on the next one. This has been the Gaming Weasel, over and out.